This is the absolute worst place to make a video. Isn't that right, Woofy McWooferson? Oh, yes. Mmm. Shut your mouth. You're supposed to be... Uh, just... Yeah, uh, uh, this is a terrible place <laughs> to make a fucking... <laughs> Let's do that over. Fuck it. Fuck it. This is a terrible place to make a video. Isn't that right, Dr. Woofy McWooferson? Oh, yes. <laughs> terrible place to make a video in your car by a bush. Mmm, yeah. Oh, today, we're going to do what everyone else has done in the last day and talk about OnlyFans. Because OnlyFans, it, it, it got rid of the porn. Why? Oh, Lord, why? It was all I had that night. Was simping out to women like Bella Delvine. Oh, anyway, about the dumbest decisions, damn keys, the chain thing, whatever, decorations, I don't care. It, the worst mistake OnlyFans could do, and they're going down the Tumblr route. Oh, we're going to get rid of porn. Well, newsflash, that's what built your site. How can you get rid of porn? It's the foundational to what OnlyFans is. Sure, were well, there some people paying men and women for non-sexual content? Yeah, but most of it was sex. If people asked you, what's OnlyFans? Oh, it's about sex. Paying for sexual content. Right? And the first thing you thought when you thought about OnlyFans? Sexual content. How can you get rid of it? It's foundational. It was revolutionary in a sense. Right? So just going on Pornhub and thinking, you know, looking, maybe I'll find something I like. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Now, guess what? Ta-da! Ta-ta-ta-ta! Ta-ta-ta-ta! Now, you actually have content that can be tailored to you. You can find somebody who's doing a niche that you like and pay them so they'll do more of it, right? You can see all the unique content you'd want to see. Maybe you just find a random woman or man extremely attractive and want to see them dance around in the bikini or something. Maybe you want specific sexual acts or content that just drives you wild that you can't find anywhere else. It's perfect. And I don't know why investors wouldn't be into that, because that makes a boatload of money, okay? You want some app or something? You want to be the next social media? Well... Sorry, but you can't get rid of porn. That's foundational to what you are, okay? Horny men paying women to see them get naked, to see the, their body parts and doing different things, whatever. That's what made the site the way it was. Long, the longevity of your brand, of, of your app or whatever, your website, relies on horny people giving money to attractive people. That's basically what your website is about. You get rid of that. Bye-bye OnlyFans. Because very few people are paying 20 bucks a month to watch me make freaking macaroni art. Okay? It's not happening. Would I like to make macaroni art? Sure. Would I like to have hundreds of people paying me to make macaroni art? Sure. Mr. Wolfenstein? Oh, yes, I love macaroni. But it's not going to fucking happen. Could prove that there was a huge non-sexual portion of your website that made you a significant amount of money, then all right. But I don't think you can. I don't think you can prove that you could be product, make money and be profitable without porn. I don't think you can prove it. I don't think you're going to... It's just taking a huge risk that you can somehow, because you're popular now, you can just abandon the porn and people will still stay. They're not. They're going to go somewhere else. That's what a Patreon page is for. If you want non-sexual perks and content for your, your money. Right? They don't need OnlyFans for that.